you'll say you want a revolution well you know yeah yeah let's look, look what's going on in wisconsin <laughs> damn governor there is uh trying to screw the unions even even though these guys are willing to bargain with them even though these guys have not taken pay raises in a, what a couple of years whatever and uh the governor wants the union bust which i'm not big on unions in florida they don't make any sense florida's a right to work state which means uh not that you have a right to work but that companies have a right to hire or fire you at will for no reason yep yep if you work for a company that's based out of florida they can fire you and not even give you a reason and you can't do shit about it but anyway uh, yeah, unions don't make a whole lot of sense in Florida because Florida's already... That's why uh, Florida typically has very low wages uh, for being such a populous state. You'd think that the Sunshine State, the wages would be good here. They're, they're actually not. I got a decent job, but my company is based out of San Francisco. So my wages are based out of, uh, you know, out of those standards, pretty much. And they have to follow... California laws, which I guess are a little bit better. I don't know. But anywho, yeah, I mean, and then all the all the people that are protesting in Wisconsin because they don't like what the governor's doing, they're calling them uh, terrorists and thugs and whatever else. I mean, geez, man, these are U.S. citizens. These are teachers, police officers, firefighters. These are the guys that teach your children, babysit them while you're off doing whatever you're doing during the day, while, you, while you're working if you've got a job. They're the people that save your ass when, you're, when your house is on fire or you wreck your car or your bike. They're the people that uh, actually stop some of the crime and even stop you once in a while and give you a ticket when you're being a dumbass. And we're calling them thugs and, and terrorists and... What are the other words they use for, uh, for people that stir up trouble and protest? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, the governor of uh, Wisconsin is kind of sounding like... Uh, like, oh, Momar Gaddafi, Kadoofy Duck. Yeah, some, some people seem to think that if you deregulate industries, that they will do the right thing and they will create jobs. Well, no, they'll just make the people that they've got work harder and beg and pray and plead not to lose their jobs instead of. 50 hours a week, you'll be working 60 or 70 without any overtime, without any uh, ability to uh, strike or collect a bargain. Oh, and does anybody recall what it was like at the turn of the uh, 20th century when we moved from the 1800s to the early 1900s? Yeah, sweatshops, child labor. Yeah, that happened here in the U.S. I mean, it still happens overseas, right? You know, some little 10-year-old kid working 40, 50, 60 hours a week for like, I don't know, 50 cents a day or some shit. In extremely bad conditions, unsafe conditions. Yeah, that happened here in the U.S. That's what businesses do. Businesses are in business to make money. And the more money they make, the more power they get. The more power they get, the more money they make because they buy the politicians. Hey, I think I've come full circle on this, haven't I? Yeah. So when I hear people say, oh, deregulate industry, get government off of industry's back, and they'll create jobs, and they'll make us all rich and happy. No. They'll make themselves rich off of the backs of the working poor. Which, I don't know about you, you know, I don't consider myself poor, but I'm damn sure pretty close. If I lost my job tomorrow, by the end of the month, I would be bankrupt. I would have nothing. I could wipe out my 401k, my whatever little bit of retirement stuff I've got, and that might last me a little while. But uh, bottom line is I would be totally screwed. And I'm betting most of the people listening to this vlog would be too. That is if you currently have a job and you're not already screwed. So, so I don't want to hear about deregulating the industries, making jobs. That's bull crap. The whole fact that we weren't watching over Wall Street is why we had this whole banking industry home boom bust thing in the first frickin' place. So let's deregulate them some more. Let's 
let's get the laws off their back so they'll create jobs. Yes. No, I don't think so. Hey, I found something to talk about, didn't I? Man, I'm almost home too, so that's good. Hmm. All right, must have been the Red Bull finally kicked in. Yeah, baby. All right. Anywho, yeah, I hope I'm getting some of this anyway. Chatter, 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 banter, banter, banter. Cock-a-doo-doo. Ooh. Ooh, and it's only 12 o'clock. Yeah.